G'day guys, today we're talking digital readouts and why this one is my new favourite. I'm Anthony and I work in the quality assurance department at Hair and Forbes, which is a fancy way of saying I help develop new products. <laughs> This is a digital readout, or DRO as you know it. This is the MeasureMax MX30i, which is not a Mazda, but a game changer in the DRO world. Cool features are a seven inch color LCD screen with a range of preset color options, which is really helpful for people with color blindness. And I like the idea that I can pick my favorite colors of red and black. The graphic display really helps visualize what you are doing. And I find it a great advantage to confirm the parameter setup is correct before I start drilling or taking a cut. I'll show this in more detail soon when I run through the PCD and radius features. Another neat feature, when taking a cut, the screen will automatically display the feed rate so you can dial in the feed and get your surface finish on point. It's backed by a TE warranty and this DRO can be retrofit to just about any Miller lathe with or without an existing DRO setup. Eastern and Sino scales are a direct fit, however others like the Karma will need an adapter cable to work, which we also have in stock. If you don't have an existing setup, we have a range of Measure Max glass scales from 120mm all the way to 3 meters. And for those with the bigger toys, we have magnetic scales from 3 meters all the way to 10 meters. Let's take a look into these features in more detail by fitting this DRO to the Hafco Metamaster mill and lathe behind me. Now that we've got the DRO attached to the mill, I can briefly take you through using the measuring function to find center, the PCD function, the two radius cutting functions, and the distance to go function. The MX30i has a centering function. To utilize that, we need to use a touch point sensor and the collet truck, and we're just gonna attach them to the machine. Now we're gonna show you how to use the probe measuring function to find the center of a circle. Um, first, we'll come over to the probe function, set the probe diameter, which is 10 millimeters to match our touch point sensor. Uh, we'll then select the circle measuring function, come down and bring the probe into the, the bore of the circle, and we'll come over and touch one of the, the points of the circle. And the sensor will beep when we're on, on the edge. To set the coordinate, and then set another coordinate off to the side somewhere. That'll give you the dimensions of the, of the ball. And then you press the center button here to show you the center position. And you just go to the zeros. And that's the center of your circle. The cool feature on the MX30i is the graphic PCD function. Um, so say we're drilling your holes in your, your Commodore rims, um, you'll set the diameter to 120 mil, come down and set the number of holes to five, enter through, and this will show you where you wanna go. So the black dot is the finish position, is the hole position, and the red one is where you are. We'll come on over until they line up, and the axis zeros, and that'll be your first hole, and then you'll process through to the second, third, fourth, and fifth hole. Further to the PCD function is the ability to change the plane that you're working in. So traditionally you'd work in your, your XY plane and drill down. Um, if you've got, say, a large hydraulic cylinder or a gearbox bell housing that you need to drill, and you can, you can change the plane to your, your XZ uh, simply by pressing, changing the plane. Um, you'll need to rotate your head or use a horizontal attachment so you can drill in your Y axis. The next function we're gonna show is the two radius cutting functions. So we have our simple radius function, which will cut a 90 degree radius. Um, and then we also have our smooth radius function, which allows you to adjust the angle of the radius to whatever it is the job requires. Um, so to first set these up, You'll select the, the simple or smooth, depending on what you're doing, the plane you want to use, um, the X and Y center position of the radius. You'll set the, the diameter of the radius to whatever it is you require, uh, the quadrant 
you require, so which which section of the circle you want, um, the inside or the outside cutting edge, and the, the direction of travel you want to take, and your your max cutting size, and then the diameter of your cutter. Once you input all those parameters, you hit enter, and it'll show you all the machining points and the red dot is where you are and the little circle is where you need to be and you can cycle through and machine each every one of those points a function i've not had on a dro before is your distance to go function in incremental mode um, so this shows you a little graphic representation of how how much further you have to go so in absolute we've got our reference here and I want to move incrementally 20 mil. It will set X to 20 millimeters and it will show you your little indicator is off. And then when it gets into the target, you're at your, your 20 mil mark. And when I'm going to move incrementally again, another 20 mil, we'll set X again to 20 millimeters. And again, it'll offset. We'll do the next position and zero there. And all of a sudden, okay, I need to go back to my original reference. You press the absolute and that'll show up that your original reference is 40 millimeters away. And then I can get back to my original reference point. These are just a few of the features on the mill. I'll attach it to the lathe and show you what it can do on there. Okay, I'll fit the MX30i DRO to the lathe. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change from milling to lathe mode by pressing the setting button on the screen here enter on DRO setting pressing the spanner button to toggle to lathe mode we'll change the number of axes down to two and exit the parameters there but now in lathe mode now you can change from radius to diameter simply by pressing the F3 button here and that'll turn it into diameter mode if you like it in radius you should press it again now, if you want to get more advanced, the DRO will accept a third scale mounted to the compound. This becomes your Z1 axis. These can be run independently or set up together with the axis summing feature. Simply go into the settings, enter in down to the axes, change it to three, uh, exit that. You now have both axes running independently. To add them together, you'll toggle across to the axis summing function, enter in, select the, the Z axis, uh, change the axis summing to Z plus Z1 and switch it on. When you exit, you'll have a nice little indicator there showing that the axes are summing together. So when you move your Z axis across, it'll, it'll count the Z axis. And then as you move your compound, it'll also include the compound into your total Z axis movement. Alright, now for a feature that we get asked about a lot, which is tool offsets. This DRO has the ability to set up to 48 tools. You number your tools 1 to 48, and your tool number 1 becomes your zero reference. You go into uh, incremental mode, select your tool offset, and we're going to change to tool 2. Uh, we've already put in the offset values. Change the tool on the quick change. and that tool is now ready to use. We've covered a few of the key features on the MX30i and hopefully now you understand why I want one of these DROs for my mill and lathe at home. If you have any questions on this DRO, please shout out. And if you'd like us to talk through any other hair and falls products, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy machining. These are just a few of the features on the mill. I just had it lined up nicely. Like, mate, there's beer in the fridge already at the back there, so let's just go have a couple.